and welcome back to Review Station here at Jubilee Road. Now, I know we've only just had a episode of Review Station, but quite a lot of new things turned up at the layout last week, so I thought to get these videos out to you rather quickly, because I know some of you were probably thinking of getting some of these models, and you might base it on my review, if they're any good, which these are, are rather good, as you're going to see in a minute. So in today's episode then, we are going to look at the all new uh, six wheeled coaches from Hornby. Quite a surprise they decided to do these, considering someone else is already bringing them to the market, but we're not going to go into that mess today. So I thought I would, well, buy some and see what they like. As you can see, I've gone for the L and the Artique livery. I've always been a massive fan of this colour and style. It really does look smart. Um, and these have the lights fitted. Now Hornby have brought out quite a few different uh, liveries and versions of these coaches. You know, you can get them in Great Western and there's Plum and Spilt Milk. I know that's a strange one, but they have, which is also a nice livery they've done. I can't go through them all because they have done quite a few. You can get them in six and four wheeled variants. You can get um, half brakes, you can get first class, third class and full brakes. I could have got a full break with this set, but I've decided not to. I might in the future. And all of them come with two options. As I said, lights fitted or not light fitted. I don't know why you'd go for n no lights. They're only about a fiver extra, so I don't know why you would not have lights in them, but that's my opinion. Um, and I paid £35 each for these coaches. And yeah, I think that's good value for money considering what they're like. So. As you can see, the four coaches are there in front of you. What do we get in the box? Well, obviously we get the coach, which is just here, the six wheel coach. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. We do get a little bit of paperwork. As you can see there, just gives you a bit of a detail there. You might be able to spot a battery. We'll get to that in a minute. That's upside down, stupid me. And then it tells you how to remove the body and all that kind of stuff. Then we got this. Extra detail. Now these are the sideboards which go down here. They haven't fitted them just in case they might catch your platforms. Rather nice homey to do that, but I will be fitting these. And then we have, well, this. Kind of look like a track rubber, doesn't it? It isn't. It's actually a magnet. Now I'm going to show you why they've given you us a magnet in a minute. So, here's the coach. Let's have a look at the details this lovely coach has. You can see how lovely this coach really looks in this livery, it really stands out. And I think they've captured the teak effect really well. It doesn't look too plasticky, does it? So at the end of the coach then, we do get a bit of detail. We do get the uh, metal buffers, which are not sprung, but that's fine, they don't need to be. We do get the sort of hose you can see it just there in between the buffers and we do get the coupling there which is a tension lock as normal. So not loads of detail to speak of there on each end of the coach. The line in as you can see has been done to a really really good standard. We've got LNER uh, written there and this is a third class brake coach. Well half brake coach that is. Now just one thing to note these are what's known as generic coaches. So they're not 100% accurate to what these coaches would have been in real life. That's fine by me because I wouldn't have had a clue what they look like in real life, so that's fine. But if you are after a complete 100% uh, accurate model of this coach, this isn't it. But I think they've done a good job. This does mean on certain versions of the coach, the lining doesn't quite match up in certain places with the shape of the uh, woodwork underneath. It's quite hard to notice, but when you really do look up close, you will notice that. We've also got the glazing, which is done to a really nice standard, and we've also got the separately fitted gold handrails. Well, they're not gold, they're probably brass or something, aren't they? But they are done, again, really, really well. A quick look at the other end of the coach then. This is the guard or parcels compartment of the coach. You can see it does say guard there on the door. And we do have that... Uh, small piece there protruding from the side of the coach. That is so the guard can have a look out without opening windows to see what's going on down his train. And again, 
all the lining is done really nice and you can see what I mean by the lining not quite matching up on those panels there. When it's running around the layout, you're not going to notice that. Here is the wheel and underframe of the model and you can see a nice representation of the suspension work and you can see the wheels there painted in a very similar colour to the wagon itself. So let's have a look at what that magnet is for. Now this is what the magnet is for I mentioned at the beginning of the video. You can just see it here. Hornby have fitted battery operated lights into these coaches. One of the main reasons for that I would think is there's no drag from pickups on the wheels and with the smaller locomotives that you're possibly going to be using with these coaches I think that's a rather good idea. So this basically is the switch and all you do to turn your lights on in your coach is do this and there you go you can see they have now come on and all you have to do to turn them off well you would think so is run it over the top of the coach wait a couple of seconds and there we go that's them off I really like that system uh, the battery is good I'm led to believe for around about 200 hours so I'm not gonna get any problems there uh, just remember to turn them off when you've when you've been using them that's something I'm probably going to do you're probably thinking oh, I don't want to do that I don't want to be having to take the coach body off it's pretty simple which I'll show you now <laughs> this is probably where it goes wrong you just need to go at each end of the coach and just pry the body off just be really careful when you're doing this obviously there we go that's how simple it was you can see the chassis here just got a weight in it oh these do swivel by the way to help go around tighter curves and here is the body be careful because the passenger compartment might fall out and there's the battery sitting there with the two wires now if you just pull this it's not even screwed in which I think is a good idea you can just see there we go the LEDs at the top and then there's plenty of well space to fit passengers if you want to do that so that is really simple there's no screws whatsoever with this model and you can just pop it back on really simply no screws no screwdriver messing about make sure it's all clipped in and there we go how simple was that and then fitting these bits is just as simple. If we just turn the coach upside down, you've got little location holes along there. And these simply just press in each one. This will take literally seconds for anyone to do. You just uh, like that. Press it down into the hole. Typical one wouldn't. There we go, and then the last one, and that's fitted. How quick was that? This is exactly the same on all types of these coaches. And there we go, and there's the run, the thing fitted. That really is as simple as you could possibly get it. Well done, Hornby. I love that. We're now here on the main layout, and now you can see the full set of four coaches all together, and they really do look really, really smart together, don't they? I did fit. All the running boards you can see there, that literally took less than five minutes. So really nice and simple. Uh, just before anyone does ask, or if you want to know, the magnet I showed you earlier will turn on all the lights in your coach when you wave it over each coach. You don't have to use a separate magnet because that really would be a pain. So that's a good thing to know. You only need one magnet out to turn the lights on. Uh, we do have, as you see, three uh, third class coaches with the half brake there at this end and down the other end is a first class uh, Carriage which has slightly different colored interiors and does say first in the windows and that kind of stuff uh, So yeah, really lovely set of coaches in conclusion then I think Hornby have done a great job uh, they the nice quality coach uh, the livery's done to a very high standard and I think they've captured the teak effect really well It doesn't look too plasticky uh, I love how easy it is to fit uh, the b extra detail and I love how easy it is to take the body off. No screws or anything. That's how it really should be from now on. Uh, and the lighting system, massive thumbs up from me. I think that was a, a nice idea uh, from Hornby to do that instead of the usual pickup from the track version. I think this is, well, in my opinion, I think it's better. And I hope Hornby do that in more of their uh, rolling stock in the future. 
and I would recommend anyone buy them. Really nice coach, uh, good value for money. I paid about 35 quid uh, each for these and with lights and the detail, I really think that's a, a good value for money and a fair price, to be honest. Now we've had a look at the coaches, let's run them around a Jubilee Road. Uh, but you're going to pick a local, I'm not sure what one, you'll see that coming up in a minute. One to kind of suit the coaches, I think. Uh, I am going to do a night shot for you so you can see the lighting running uh, inside the coach, just to give you an idea what that looks like. And yeah, that's it. So, in the comments, let me know what you think of the coaches, and do you have any at the moment, or waiting for them? Uh, I would be love to hear from you to see what you think. I'll be back here at Jubilee Road with loads more railway content for you. Enjoy the few clips of these coaches running around Jubilee Road. Bye everyone.